Jason McCourty, former NFL defensive back on NFL Network's Good Morning Football, about his perception of the Browns this season. Deshaun Watson and the Cleveland Browns is a mystery that no one's talking about yep. because you said it last week. It's uncomfortable. You don't know if it's okay to discuss yet. But you can discuss the football side of it, and now Watson's going to be back. Last year was only a few games. It was hard to figure out what he was going to be because the last time we saw him was in 2020, a full season with the Houston Texans. Mm. And when he was out there, he was actually a really good football player. When you go back and you look at where he ranked amongst quarterbacks in the NFL that year, I mean, look at that. Everything is in the top five. Any stat you want to look at. It is right there. Deshaun Watson's only 28 years old going into this season. He'll be turning that in September. And this is a Cleveland Browns team where in this division, all we talk about, deservingly so, is Lamar Jackson and Joe Burrow. We said, all right, Kenny Pickett's on the rise. Let's see what this young guy's going to be. No one's discussing the Cleveland Browns. And this team has Nick Chubb, they have David Njoku, they have Amari Cooper. They just signed Elijah Moore, traded him for the Jets. They have weapons, and if Deshaun Watson can get back to form of something similar to what he was in 2020, this is the mystery that I'm going to be looking at for the season because it's going to be a conversation that we have to discuss from a football standpoint wow. and what the Browns can do and if they're going to be a possible team in the playoffs late in the season, especially in the division mm. with the Baltimore Ravens mm. and the Cincinnati mm. Bengals. And Quincy, you look at those numbers uh, from the last full season uh, Deshaun Watson played, they're pretty eye-popping. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was one of the top quarterbacks in the league, right? We, were, we forget because he kind of – his last big season was 2020, right? And since then, Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert have emerged, and so, so did Josh Allen. As we remember, Josh Allen, his first two years of his career really wasn't that interesting. It wasn't until like 2020, 2021 that we started talking about him in the upper echelon of quarterbacks. So since those three had time to emerge since Deshaun Watson kind of – disappeared not because of his play but because of his situations off the field not wanting to play for the Texans and the other stuff um we kind of forgot where he was right where and where he was was we were talking about who's better him or Pat Mahomes you know does he have the ability to be what Pat Mahomes is going to be we were talking about him on that same level when you hear him talk about what he expects from himself it's very obvious he still sees himself as somebody who's competing um to be as good as Pat Mahomes but since he's been gone and so many other people have, have answered the, the conversation, it's up to him to reestablish his name back in there. But that's who he was. I mean, look, you don't just trade three first-round picks for just anybody, right, at the quarterback position. Um, you know, the Browns had somebody who people thought was a regular level starting quarterback in Baker Mayfield when they made the choice to move on to get Deshaun Watson. It's clear of what they think uh, of Deshaun Watson, which is he's a clear upgrade. He's one of the upper echelon quarterbacks, and they believe he could be elite in the right situation, not just good enough to win. Um, and, you know, it, it's it's interesting to see where he's at now. It'll be interesting to see where he's at, at the end of the season. But definitely he has a lot to prove this year.